The fan we are wiring is a Panasonic Whisper Green Select FV0511VKS1. This fan has a multi-speed timer pre-installed. We will use the red signal wires to get the fan to do spot ventilation. We will need constant power at the fan. For constant power, we will find an existing power source in the attic. To use the red signal wires, we will use the existing wire from the switch box to the old fan. So we're at the switch now for this fan. We're just going to unscrew the switch, pull it out. We're going to basically what we're going to do is do away with the power source to this switch. We're going to power the fan up from up above. So we just need to unhook these wires. separate these. What we need to find is the power to this box is coming in from the bottom and then it's going up to the fan out the top of the box. What we need to do is find the black and the white that's going up. We're going to use those back on the switch and then the bottom two here they're just not going to be in use. We're just going to dead end them in this box and just leave them. So the red signal wires, you never put any voltage on. <clears throat> so we're just simply going to stick these back in the box. And now we're going to strip this white one and put it around a terminal here. And use the black one again. So it doesn't matter which terminal you put these on. So there's the white one and the black one. We're going to put on there. Tighten it up. Work it back in the box. And we'll screw that back in there. So they'll have a, a switch here. So when they come in to, to use a shower, they're just simply going to flip that switch that's going to ramp that fan up to spot ventilation. So some simple places to grab power in the attic when you're up there to look for would be if you had a house with a knee wall, uh, an outlet in that knee wall is a very good place to try to grab power from. The second spot would be if you had a light in that attic and it has a pull chain receptacle on it. Typically there is constant power there. That's a good spot to grab power from. A, any kind of a junction box, if you can figure out that there's constant power there, that would be a good spot. Or if you could get to the garage door opener, that's usually a really good spot to try to grab uh, constant power out of. Okay, we're back up here to the attic. Um, we have to bring constant power to this fan, and then we also have to hook up the wires for the red signal wires. So this wire right here, we brought power from one of the sources we talked about up in the attic either the pull chain, the junction box, the knee wall outlet, or the garage door opener. <clears throat> the other wire here, this is, the, this is the wire that was ran to the old fan here. I've got it disconnected and it's going down to, to that single pull switch. So the first thing we're going to do is just get the ground wires hooked up to the ground wire on the fan. Wiring that on there. <clears throat> Separate these here. So this here, this pair here, this neutral and common is uh, is the constant power for this fan coming from our junction point. There's the neutral. Here's the common.
hooked up. Now we have our red signal wires. So we're just going to go one of the red ones to the black. And one of the red ones to the white. So now when we restore power, <clears throat> we're going to have common, we're going to have constant power to this fan from the, where we rob power in the attic. So that'll allow that continuous run timer to function. The, the, the two red signal wires, we're using the old wire that went down to the switch box. We disconnected power so there's, there's no voltage on this. It's just we're just making or breaking some kind of a contact in here that's going to allow that fan to ramp up to do your spot ventilation of either 50 or 80 or 100 C 110 CFM, whichever you choose to select.